What's up y'all, Rachel here. It's a perfect day out there today, so I wanna take advantage of it. And just thought I would do a quick little rundown on this new kit that I got from Osos that I'm gonna try out for the first time today. So check it out. All right, so we've got some help here this morning. We've got Mr. Jones. We have Chap. Hey Chap. And we've got Dinosaur. These are my helpers. They're always around, underfoot. Um, and this is a kit that I'm gonna try out for the first time today. So this is the new cross country kit from Ossos of Switzerland. It is designed specifically for women. It has their new S7 chamois in it. It's the cross country bib and the rally trekking jersey, which has some really incredible features in it. So let's take a look at those. All right, so this jersey has 27 panels on it, which is kind of mind-blowing. Really cool and obvious first thing that stood out to me is the back of the jersey, which has these two mesh layers in it um, that take up pretty much the entire back of the jersey, and that does a couple things. So if you're wearing a hydration bag with this jersey, that is going to suspend the bag off of your back and draw air in under the bag to keep for you know temperature regulation and a really comfortable ride and not have a super sweaty back. A couple things on the bib real quick. So like I mentioned, this is the S7 chamois. These guys need to go on a bike ride too. Come on. Uh, it's the new S7 chamois. I've got the older bibs with S5, so I'm really looking forward to comparing the new chamois with the previous S5. I've heard awesome things about this S7, so looking forward to that. If you've seen also chamois before, they're always purple. Um, this one is a diversion from that. It's the gray. Uh, that is indicative of their mountain bike specific chamois. A couple other things on this bib. So it has these really cool um, hip pad pockets built in on both sides. Um, you probably seen or heard of, or maybe not, but they're available via the G-form hip pads. And a lot of roadies will wear those. If you go down in a crit, um, it keeps from bruising that hip bone. So the G-form pour on, which hardens on impact, it's a super cool technology um, that's used in a lot of sporting equipment, like cell phone cases and laptop pads and things like that. Um, I wear the knee and elbow G-form pads when I trail ride, uh, just in case I fall and they've actually saved my skin a couple times. Definitely some bruising. So that's built into these shorts, um, which is awesome. And it has an improved strap and clasp mechanism. So the lay flat straps, which are super, super comfortable. They're also super, super stretchy. So um, you don't even really feel that they're on and they don't pile up on you. They're not gonna roll over on themselves or anything like that. They're super comfortable. And then the easy in and out magnet clasp, um, which seems pretty secure. On my previous Osso shorts, it had like a hook and eye, and sometimes when I'm in my attack position on my bike, it'll actually come unhooked um, in my attack position, and then my uh, strap is up around my neck. So uh, this should keep that from happening, which I'm pretty excited about. But they look awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this thing on, check it out. All right, so I have this thing on. It feels incredible. Uh, the material feels super, super high end. Nice compression, nice like leg bands, really, really comfortable. Um, the cut of the jersey is probably the best I've ever had on. Not surprising with all those panels that go into that pattern. I like the length of the sleeve. The hemline hits me right at my hip bone. Um, I actually don't feel like I have a chamois on at all. You know, sometimes like you put on a, a pair of shorts with a chamois and, and, and you feel it kind of bunch and kind of like fold up and, and be uncomfortable. Um, I do feel a little bit of tug in the shoulder strap of the bib um, where it comes over my collarbone. Um, however, the moment I get into my riding position, that goes away. It feels really neutral at this point without any slack in the in the band of the bib um, so that's all real promising and I'm not getting a, a bunch of bunching up on the full zip on the jersey either um, that feels really good it's hitting me in the right spot so um, we'll see how it does on the bike all right I'm about an hour into this ride I've crossed about a dozen cattle guards already got some real rough chip seal gravel 
Shammy's feeling great. So I took out my fixed gear today since I'm in between cross country bikes. Um, rode a bunch of chip seal gravel, 32 miles, 33 miles worth, and a ton of cattle guard crossing. Crossings that kit feels awesome. Um, definitely the S7 Shammy is an improvement over the S5. It really dissipated a lot of the road vibration on the on the chip seal. So um, feels good. I like the kit. Still feels fresh and uh, looking forward to getting some more rides on it.